Welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on a Wednesday here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's uh, go up to our friends over in Queensland and speak to our, uh, of course, the Quaffle W uh, ambassador uh, we had over there. Of course, she, of course, she plays for the Cooperu uh, women's football team. Of course, her name's Jade Ellinger. She joins us right now. Thanks, Jade, for joining us. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for having me again. Happy to be back. No worries. Well, Firstly, congratulations on winning the club Best and Ferris uh, a couple of weeks ago now. I guess for you, what did that mean to you? I was really, I was surprised, but I was really happy as well. Uh, it's been such a crazy year. Uh, I was just glad I could get the most out of it. Um, unfortunately, obviously, we got knocked out in finals, but yeah, it was a nice little reward for the season that was. So yeah, I was super happy and super, super excited. Now, you mentioned that you were surprised uh, to get the award, considering I think when we last had you on the show, you came runner-up quite a few times uh, in the club Best and Ferris. I guess uh, did this, uh, as you mentioned, did come as a surprise, but considering the way that you played this year, uh, I guess did you have a sneaky chance that you, you were going to get it? Uh, I mean, I guess I was... I obviously, yeah, had come runner up the last, um, like pretty much every year I've played, I've always come runner up, but um, I was hoping I'd still be up there um, and be consistent. So I thought there'd be a few other girls up there as well. So I'm sure it was really close in the end. So I was expecting, I thought Talia Hickey might have taken it out, but yeah, it must have been really close in the end. Presentation day or presentation night was a little bit different this year, uh, obviously, due to the pandemic. Uh, I, get, I think it was hosted at, in, at Cooper Road. Uh, at, at Griffin Park. Um, I guess tell us a bit about the whole day and how different it was compared to other years. Yeah, well, usually we'd go into the city, got a nice function room, get fully dressed up, everything like that. But um, this year we had it at the club. Um, unfortunately, it was pouring down with rain the entire day and afternoon, but it was a really nice setup. And if the weather was better, it would have been just perfect. Um, but it was still a really good day. Um, and afternoons, we had all the screens playing like the what was on that day, the racing and then the footy. So it was all, it was a, it was a really good club vibe. We had all the, all the little kids were there as well. Like usually they wouldn't be there. So it was, yeah, it was really nice. I think it was a good change. I guess, when did it come to a point that you, you know, all the achievements that you had uh, already, and especially, I guess, the year that's been this year, um, I guess, how good was it to hold the, um, the trophy, um, your best and fairest trophy? Was that something that you cherish now, considering it's like, you know, two weeks since then? Yeah, it's definitely something that I'll always remember, the 2020, the year of coronavirus, but also the year that I finally won um, best and fairest at Cooper. So, and it will be something that I will remember this forever. And this year just keeps bringing on things that we'll remember. <laughs> um, but no, it's definitely something that I will cherish. And and as the week and two weeks have gone by, it's, yeah, I was really proud of what I've achieved this year. Has it sunk in yet? It has. It has, I think, on the day, because I was going to the grand final that night as well. So it was like, quick, go to the awards, and we're going to the grand final. And then it was all a bit of a bit of a crazy day but now yeah it's definitely it's definitely sunk in and I'm very proud of myself um and the team and all of the other award winners so yeah it was a really nice afternoon to celebrate those ones. Now you mentioned obviously the day uh it was on the day of the AFL grand final at the Gabba uh, which uh, absolutely bucketed with rain for about uh, the first half of that game I guess did you actually go straight home after the presentation so you can drop your trophy off or did you go straight to the Gabba even though it was a very short drive? I went I did go straight to the Gabba um mum and dad luckily they came to the game so they they could take the trophy home but <laughs> yeah I wasn't going to take that one to the game with me. <laughs> was there any other award winners from your team um other than yourself? Yeah, so we had our runner-up, which was Jamie Stanton, um, and then um, Big Mac um, also won an award, and Isla was our rising star as well. So, yeah, it was really good to have a good mixture of um, people getting awards, and some people, I don't think um, any of them had won awards at the clubs before. So, yeah, it was really nice. It was all all spread out, and that everyone was just in such a good mood that day, even despite the rain. Now, you mentioned that you beat... Uh... 
Jamie Standen for for the best and fairest. I guess were you surprised that you beat her? I I I was. Yeah, I knew she had um, kicked a lot of goals, and I knew that she would have polled well in a lot of games. Um, considering she kicked like what four or five goals in in some of them. Um, so yeah, I was surprised uh, that I did beat her in there. But yeah, it must have been really close. Now on top of that, winning the club best and fairest, uh, which um, I sort of sensed it was coming anyway because in the league, uh, Bess and Ferris, you came in the top five. Uh, in the, I think you actually were tied uh, for top at one stage uh, in, in the league, Bess and Ferris. I guess, were you surprised with that and especially the calibre of players that uh, end up uh, finishing uh, in the top four above you? Yeah, I definitely was surprised. I never usually poll well in the league um, votes because given everyone else who plays in my team and everything like that. So, yeah, it was nice um, to be up there. Um, and, yeah, I was tied first at one point, but I was like, yeah, I don't, wasn't confident I was going to win that. But it was really good to see all of us, um, especially all the Lions girls up there, um, just making sure that we're still playing and performing at that level, even at Quaffle. Um. I guess on top of that, were you, were you surprised the way how close it got? Definitely, yeah. I, I those ones are usually pretty close, but it was it was, yeah, it was. What did it come down to? One or two votes? I think yeah. they ended the top three all tied. So, yeah, it was it was good, but I don't know they were always really close. Now, I guess for you, you mentioned that obviously you're going into preseason now for AFLW, but how confident? Um, are you going to be going to the AFLW? Considering what you've already achieved this year in the Quaffle W for Cooperu and obviously the previous season, I guess, does that give you more confidence in yourself to go into not just the AFLW season with the Lions, but also um, the following season, hopefully again with Cooperu? Yeah, it definitely does. I always try and put like, make sure I'm performing at the same standards throughout the year uh, but definitely a bit of a confidence boost going into this season knowing that I have had a good off season as well um, and then leading into next year will be a really good test to see how far we come over the summer and everything like that but yeah I'm excited for it to start tonight it's been it's been a crazy year just want to get back to some more normality as such but yeah I am pretty confident going into the season and hopefully hopefully I can get a game. Now, let's talk a bit about, uh, of course, um, I know last time we had you on the show, obviously, you sound just knocked out um, in the uh, this first final against Yoronga, who, funny enough, went on to win it all uh, this year. Um, but I guess, obviously, you were at the grand final for your development league uh, team uh, that ended up went on and beat Yoronga uh, at Bon Yeni. Uh, I guess, uh, how good was to see them winning the premiership? And obviously you were there to watch it down there on the Gold Coast. Um, I guess, what did that mean to you, to, and especially the rest of your teammates, to come down and support them? Yeah, that was an, such an awesome day. Like, they, we love supporting them and they love supporting us and we just we know we're just one big club so we had all of our team down we had all the little coffee girls down there all of the boys down there all of the supporters so we were definitely the loudest on the day um, and we made sure everyone knew that and it was just it was it felt like we had all won a premiership when they got over the line so that's how cohesive and how much we all love each other that it was just it felt just as good having them win than to win one now of course your grand final last year was a blowout um, against Bon Uni. Uh, their grand final uh, this year in the development league came down to the final quarter and came down to the final five minutes or so. Um, I guess, were you nervous just watching the game? Uh, I was compared to last year when you were playing it. Definitely. This, yeah, this year was way more nerve wracking, like, cause it was so back and forth. Like I think we kicked a goal in the last few minutes to put us up and then they kicked one. And then I, it was almost one of the last kicks of the game that won it um, for the girls in the end. So that was just, it was, it was such a good game to watch um, and to be a part of, but it was definitely more nerve wracking. I mean, our game last year, um, we didn't have a close, didn't have a close game. So there was none of that, but it was still just as exciting. Um, it was just really good to see a really close grand final this year and to come out on top. And I guess, I know this is going to sound a silly question to ask because obviously I've mentioned this to you 
uh, when, when when we had you on the show about the t- last year's grand final playing there. But watching as a spectator and knowing, uh, especially um, how um, United, both yourselves and also the development league have been this year, was there a relief or celebration when the final start went and obviously they won? It was definitely a huge celebration. Like we were all jumping the fence and trying to like, get them all over and we had we sang all the song together. So it was a huge celebration and it was more because last year, obviously, um, they lost their grand final. So we were just, it was a bit of a relief as well, knowing that they deserved to win a grand final and they finally had. So, yeah, it was awesome to be a part of that. And I'm just so happy for those girls. How was the, how was the bus ride back to Brizzy? <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> we had, we were just had an absolute party on that bus. Everyone had their medals, and it was just yeah, it was crazy. But it was it was so worth it. So much fun. Um, how how long how long did uh, did the team celebrate for? Uh, a good few days. <laughs> we had our um, um, Mad Monday the next day and everything. So yeah, it was it was a never ending party really. <laughs> Now, I have to ask, what did you come as in Mad Monday? Uh, me and Jesse Wardlaw and Clem all came as um, tequila, lime and salt. <laughs> 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 we we have this little thing where, well, the last few years at Mad Monday, me and Jesse have always brought like a bottle of um, tequila and we just go around offering everyone a shot. And yes, yeah, so we thought, that, that's a perfect costume. So we went with it for this year's theme. It was perfect. <laughs> Um, did you just wear it for the whole day? It did actually stay on most of the day and uh, I didn't even destroy it, which I was really surprised about. Oh. So, yeah, it was, it was good. <laughs> um, now, obviously, uh, we mentioned it was not just the development league winning, but also the 13s one as well in the juniors. Um, I guess that must be really good to see um, the pathway coming through um, going really well there at Cooper Road. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we've always had like a really strong pathway coming from from under 13s, 15s, 17s. Um, I, when I was in juniors, we won a few premierships as well. So it's good to see that they're still a really strong side and are still attracting good players. But just means that in a few years time, they'll all be my teammates and it'll be awesome to have them all running around next to me. Yeah. Do you get the chance to like do like clinics or even help out uh, or support the, the juniors when you can? Yeah, a lot of the girls um, in our team and stuff, they actually coach the 13s and the 15s and 17s and help out wherever they can. I haven't had the chance to help out as much as I would like to, um, just given the fact that I'm not always at the cl- at Cooper, sometimes I'll be out um, at the, at the Lions. So, yeah, it would be nice to do that, but unfortunately time, time doesn't always uh, allow me to, but I'll try and help out wherever I can. But the girls who do do it do a really great job and I hope they keep doing it because they're obviously raising little champions over there. Uh, is that something you want to do um, you know as you go along in your footy journey yeah possibly I would, would love to be more involved in all of that I, I tend to spread myself a little bit thin so I'll see how I go with all my time management but yeah it would be it would be nice to give back um, to the club and help those girls out now we'll finish off with this uh, last well last three questions uh, which is all lighthearted questions um, which is, I guess, reflecting back, who had the most embarrassing moment on the field this season and what was it? Oh, probably still Talia <laughs> and that goal. <laughs> she was right in front of goals and missed it, but <laughs> it's it's pretty close. There was a few of us who probably absolutely shanked kicks or goals that we probably normally wouldn't. So there was definitely one for myself in the Aspley game as well. So there's a fair share of um, embarrassing moments going around. But yeah, in front of the goals is never never great. <laughs> now, who's who's the comedian, firstly? The comedian oh, in the team? Probably Bosco or Clem. They're pretty, pretty wild, pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, and then the second part of that question, any good singers and dancers we should know about? Ali can sing. Ali's a pretty good singer, actually. She'll probably never admit it or hate me for saying it. But, yeah, she's pretty good. Um, who's a good dancer? Oh, 
cutting it fine there. <laughs> so <laughs> I like to think she can dance, but uh, I wouldn't say she's very good. <laughs> Now, was there any, you know, TikTok uh, premiership celebrations uh, after it? There wasn't actually. It was, yeah, we were a bit, bit slack on that one, but um, there was a few, there was a few videos from Mad Monday that ended up going viral, so that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we'll finish off uh, with this one last one, um, which is. Obviously, we were sponsoring you uh, this year. Um, how special is that to be sponsored this year, and especially for us to see you win the best and fairest? Yeah, no, it's been really awesome. I obviously love to be a part of the team um, and help out where I can. So, yeah, it's been awesome having you guys um, have my back as well, and hopefully we can keep it going. Absolutely. Well, Jade, thank you so much for giving up your time to join us today to join us. Uh, obviously, we want to wish you all the best uh, with your pre-season, especially uh, the season coming up for the AFLW for the Brisbane Lions and can't wait to hopefully see you down here in Melbourne because uh, uh, hopefully during the season, but obviously, <laughs> but especially hopefully uh, get to come up to Queensland again uh, next year to hopefully get to watch you and your Cooper and teammates in action in 2021. Yeah, perfect. Can't wait for that. Thanks so much for having me. No worries. And that's uh, Jade Allinger there, of course, joining us from the Cooper uh, women's football team. Of course, the club best and fairest for 2020 as well as our uh, Smash FM ambassador for the 2020 season. There's more on the Smash Sports Show right after this. Don't go away. Here on the Wednesday edition.